primary indexing in primary indexing the database file is kept physically sorted or ordered based on the primary key and the index is created on the primary key that is assume that we are using contiguous memory allocation that is contiguous disk blocks are allocated to this file now this the records of this file are physically kept sorted based on the primary key and in primary index this primary key will be acting as the index search key and this indexing can be dense as well as sparse in dense indexing we create an index entry for each and every record of the file but here since the records are kept physically sorted on the primary key whose value is unique for every record there is no need to create an index entry for each and every record hence usually sparse indexing method is used in sparse primary indexing the index entry is created for the first record of every block and this first record of every block are called the anchor records of the block or the block anchors hence each index entry corresponds to the block anchor and the entry consists of the index search key corresponding to the block anchor and a pointer or a block pointer which points to the corresponding block hence the number of records or the number of index records will be equal to the number of blocks required to keep the database file and each index entry consists of only two fields the the size of each index entry is small as well as the number of index entries is kept small since the number of index entries is equal to the number of blocks of the file we are not keeping index entries for every record of the file hence all round the size of the index will be very small hence the number of blocks required to keep this index file will be less also the index is ordered to hence we can perform binary search on the index let bi be the number of blocks required to keep the index file on the disk then on the average case the number of block accesses required to locate a searched index record is log bi to the base 2 and after locating the index entry corresponding to the search value we should access the block address or the block pointer and should access the block corresponding to that address hence one more block access will be required so in order to access a search record on the average case we require log bi to the base 2 plus 1 block accesses where bi is the number of index blocks now how to search for a particular record corresponding to an index search key we should search the primary index first we can make use of binary search since the index is ordered now find an index entry such that the index search key is equal to or just less than the search value here this is the entry now get the block pointer or the block address using the address access the corresponding block now by sequentially searching the entries of the block we can access our required record if it is present in the block